playing with a lot of gas in the tank, but we got to make sure, like, how close can we get to a uh, snake without getting overextending and finding ourselves blown up like that? Yeah, I was about to say, if it's anything about snake that I know, it's one of my favorite characters to cast when snake is playing what I like to call a little bit more hybrid, right? When we're, for example, falling down with that back air, really, like, setting up and then playing a little bit more aggressive. And that's the thing, when it comes to Cola, we know what he's capable of, but the problem is, Hurt's playstyle just constantly just tells him no. Yeah, and Hurt is already starting to condition Cola by throwing out a couple jabs. Like, I want to see when we get to these uh, the regions where it's like we're jab checking Cola, what does he do on reaction? Uh, you might be able to break the rhythm, and so far, Cola is going a little bit too crazy looking for that fastball dare in the middle of the stage. Hurt is no stranger to being the anti air, something like that. Yeah, that's the problem. My goodness, Hurt just gets set up on one of these platforms, and then Cola is just taking 77%. It's just a natural kind of flow of Snake, but if we're able to get out, or if Hurt just accidentally he reverses Nikita, we can find a way in. But now look at all the extra credit that Hurt has gotten on Cola's second stop. Yeah, certainly. But we need to get the sharking opportunity done right. Cola going to be looking for a way to punish the higher recoveries. Uh, Hurt tries to play it safe, tries to be delaying, and so far he's doing the right thing. We're Screaming back to the ledge doesn't give up too much in terms of stage control. Cola just can't really do too much in terms of the approaches, so uh, can't really punish some of these opportunities. Yeah, absolutely. Still so far so good from Hurt. No sweat. Just another day in the office. There's the grenade that's even going to send Cola up high here. Almost gets caught up by the C4, but once again, the way that Hurt just gets set up right below these platforms in a short amount of time is so impressive, but Cola has had enough. Just one dash attack, we're out. Yeah, you know it. It feels like we've got Hurt pulling out the right options, keeping the grenades on deck and placing them perfectly. Cola just cannot find a way to get back in this fight, even though he's desperately fighting for it. The Nair off the ledge might have been crazy, but Hurt knows the intangible arms of that dash attack are going to be able to win out even against the disjoint. Yeah, I think one of the things that Cola recognizes is when it's just not his turn anymore, right? When the when Hurt is underneath the platform, there's C4 and two grenades, it's just not your turn, right? And we just have to figure out when it is. Falling oh. up here into the down air, great tech by Hurt here. Here we go, up throw is going to be the option. Cola definitely not going down this one without a fight, but he knows recognizing it. Once again, two grenades and a C4, you just have to be very careful because you know that Hurt has it in his mind. Right, and Cola just standing barely on the edge of the C4 range, okay. but still threatening Hurt any way he can on the landing. Hurt's doing the right things, doing the wave bounce, grenade pulls, trying to get that frame one option and being able to, again, like bounce back and forth, making it hard for Cola to pin him down. Yeah, still though, it's just so much patience and so much time here and Hurt still in the advantageous state here, trying to Ooh. find the F tilt, unable to find anything. But here comes Hurt playing that little bit more of aggressive oh, game. There's the down air and now Hurt gonna have to go high in the sky. Good shield by Cola, but still unable to find this stock. He's starting to That's bleed out crazy. here, but Cola has brought it back down to last stop. It's definitely not over yet, Nerf. Cola stood on the C4 and said, blow it, I dare you, and then <laughs> shielded it out perfectly still finds the juggles. Cola relentless and hurt as much as he's playing defensively. He's trying to get some more here. More damage could be good, but we got to get the stop. And that's going to be the dare, and it's just enough. We've got hurt up game one. For what? A game that started with so much damage on Hurt's side onto Cola. Yeah. Cola really did a good job of just calming down, saying, you know what, I'm going to just stay away from all this, and I'm going to just find my opportunity when it comes to me. Uh, he didn't throw himself into the great grenades too much after, I would say, like the midpoint of the game, and he was really able to like get himself back into the game. So I'm interested to see what the game plan is, uh, where we're going to go for game number two, because I don't think Small Battlefield should be it. No, probably not, but I wouldn't take Snake to PS2 if you paid me. Um, <laughs> Why so, not? <laughs> because that what long stage with a zoner like that, and you have to cross all that distance just to drop, a, a, like have him drop a C4 on the black part of the Pokeball? Like, please, pass, 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 pass. <laughs> but we're going to go for it anyway. Let's go Cola. All right, starting out on game number two here. It's so amazing. It's three, two, one, go. Hurt already has like C4, two grenades. Like he is just one of the best snakes to do it. Period, point blank here. But here comes Cola, reminding him why he's oh one of the best God. here in North America. The shield all the way through on that one. You seem puzzled, Nerd. How did none of that hit Cola? Like he's he, still just, he had all these explosions. He shields at just the right opportunities. It's not even a parry, and yet he gets out with very little damage on the board. And we are already pressuring Pert again on shield. Yeah, absolutely. Good stuff from both players.
players so far. It just seems like a very different Cola. Still, though, Hurt finding this back air into the dash attack once more. And here comes Nikita. Going to be able to find the mark already. Oh, uh, I Hurt's going to go up 1-0. I literally can see Cola in the, in the player cam, like, shaking his head, like, throwing the hand up. Like, man, what am I supposed to do against that? And unfortunately, it might be to hold on to the up B for a little bit longer. You've got to make sure that you're able to hit the Nikita with the sword and the flame. That's all you can do. Uh, still, Cola is just trying to figure something out here. A quick down tilt on shield and then disengage. Doesn't want to get too close. Yeah, absolutely. Still, though, here we go. Finally going to be able to find this grab. I love the weight in neutral, too, just because you never know what Hurt is planning. But Hurt always has a grenade to go. There's the back throw. And now Hurt's trying to get set up here. Has a grenade. It's going to get exploded in the hand. But here comes Cola. Finds the first snare. We just need to find that, like, one gotcha hit and get our confidence back in this game. But the grenades are always bailing Hurt out. They are. And you can tell Cola is getting impatient with him. He's trying to throw them right back at Hurt. Try to catch him with some of his own medicine. But at the same time, Hurt is playing. Being so elusive, the counter, no, Cola. That one hurts. <laughs> okay. And it's a shame because this game started a lot closer than the last one. It's just sometimes you have to recognize that in a normal game of Smash, sometimes it's your turn. Right now, it just doesn't feel like Cola's turn at all to play. Right, and then getting uh, falling short on the dash grab as well. That's unfortunate. A quick down, uh, spot dodge is able to get yourself out of the danger for now, but we don't get the sweet spot there, so gonna have to go back to the drawing board for this one. No sweet spot fair either. 157, you gotta find something here as Roy. Yeah, and especially because Hurt just has so much of the tempo. And Hurt, honestly, just kind of saying, you know what, I'll come back to stage when I feel like it. Almost baits Cola to run right into that yeah. C4, but landing up air is going to at least get this first stock off for Cola. <laughs> he just lays there. Honestly, He's like, that's that. mood, right? That's right there, mood. that's mood. <laughs> that's oh my mood. God, okay. <laughs> so either way, Cola is still, uh, you know, trying to rest control back from this uh, this game. He definitely feels like uh, he's been struggling to get in on the key opportunities, and that's all Roy can do. Hurt has been like just leading up to yeah. all of this moment with like loading up uh, Cola with a lot of passive damage. Yeah, absolutely. But look at the passive damage Jesus. like you talked about. Grenade, grenade to just straight up, up tilt, up, up and away. And like you said, Nerf, we needed an answer. I don't think PS2 was it. No. So we're still looking for an answer. You tell me what it is. Mm, Hall of Bastion. Why? Um, well, they're going back to PS2. Okay, cool. <laughs> Never mind. You know what? It doesn't even matter. So, well, can you just tell me why you would think that way? I would think Hollow Bastion just because it's a long, like a, a single plat stage. I think sure. is good. I think you need a little bit of a longer stage. Maybe, maybe Smashville, unless hurt, unless hurt banned it. I, I, it's really hard to tell what he banned. So, I couldn't tell you. Either way, Cola's gonna have to figure something out here. And uh, I think playing high octane and getting an early lead is the goal here. Once you get down like he was in that game, um, it's really hard to bring it back from that. So I think he kind of recognized that the wind was out of his sail. Kept trying to tr kept trying to forge ahead, but at the same time, like, uh, there's only so much you can do. You gotta get an early lead here or else, I think the set might be cooked. Oh my goodness, well, it's three, two, one, go, and Hurt's already set up. Like, and the thing is, like, you just have to figure it out. But this is a really great start, probably Cola's best start so far. And I think he's doing just, you know what, I recognize it's just not my turn, but here comes Hurt, he closes the gap extremely well. Dash out, dash back in, finds the C4 hit, and even tries to loop in the up air as well with grab, though you hate to see that if you're a Cola fan. Falling Nikita, though, doesn't get the mark all the way, great spot. Dodge, and now oh. here we go. Cola, unfortunately, has the right idea with so many of these grabs. It's just not leading in for him. I just don't know where the risk reward is because it's like, yeah, we're getting like jab back air. That's great. But like, yeah, what do you, how do you convert with the grab? Like, what do you do here and how do you secure more? Because Roy, I mean, his throws are okay. They're, right. they're all right. But we are finally going to get something here with the F tilt. And this is exactly what Cola needs a lead. Yeah, absolutely. So we're going to be able to see for the first time this set uh, how Cola plays with that lead and how Hurt is actually going to change his play style to see how he plays from behind. But there's a grab into the forward throw. Another Nikita here. I just love straight up how Cola's just oh, forward airing oh, it, but that's a re-grab. Unable to find anything here. So now it's up to Cola. I like the down air idea. Finally finds the grab as well. There's the forward air, but the grenade to bail out. But honestly, all of this damage from Cola is consistent and it's good. Yeah, and all this extra credit means that he's like sitting at 140. He can use Rage as well once he gets a little bit more on Hurt. And we just got to figure out how to okay. I feel like we've seen a little echo of like what Hurt wants to do when he recognizes Cola is not going to approach. He kind of like throws grenades and runs it with the dash attack. The things like that are going to be the rinse and repeat. But as of right now, neither of them is gaining ground. I feel like he's just struggling to get something in himself. And Cola now gets to play back and, and wait for Hurt to make a mistake. The movement here from Cola is just fantastic, right?
right? Like, understanding that it's just not the times. And you know what? I'm in the lead. But now you're oh in the God. corner for oh God. And you go for a very wishful up special here. So now you're putting yourself into complete disadvantage, at least for the moment. Going to be able to make it back here. But there it is. Kurt going to be able to find his mark here. Two stocks to two. It's definitely a lead for Cola still. But we got to just play so careful. Yeah, and now Kurt kind of hovering around the C4 drop area as well. We see the air dodge, and even then, that was a little bit crazy. Got to hold on to that one for a little bit longer. The air dodge was read out, but it was a little early, so you got to figure something out. And Cola's got to go back on the uh, on the offensive. Yeah, still though, now we're back to where we were about five seconds ago here, where uh, Cola has the lead, and Hurt is now going to be able to find that dash attack in. Nikita, though, is going uh, to send at a no. really bad no. angle. That's going to be it for Cola's second second stock and Cola now on his final Ooh. stock potentially off Riptide 2024 uh, I guess so but at the same time like oh. he's looking for some ideas we got we got the trumps in the works so we just got to think about how we're going to execute uh, to the point where it's going to matter Hurt now getting F tilt one uh, we are starting to run away with a lead here and how did this turn around for Hurt all right, finds the counter at this point. So maybe we can get one for good measure, but oh, C4s no. are falling from the sky, and that will be hurt moving on in this bracket.